I'm going to demonstrate the backing up of Steam game installation files and the later recovery of them on a clean Windows installation. The first thing we need to do is find the common folder which contains the game installation files. This is typically found in C program files, x86, Steam or Steam apps. If you've got a Windows.owned installation, check for program files x86, Steam and then Steam apps. Here is my current version of Steam on my Extreme Performance System, 9365. And what I'm going to do is attach an external hard drive. And I'm going to go to C, Program Files, x86. I'm going to look for Steam. I'm going to now look for Steam Apps. And I found my common folder which contains all the game installation files. Just to be sure, I'll right click it and select properties. And I'll see that this is a large folder of approximately 66 gigabytes. So let's just open up the external hard drive in Windows Explorer and let's just create a notepad file. And we'll just leave a note to ourselves telling us where we should copy this folder to. And now let's copy this common folder over to the external hard drive. And just to tidy up, I'm going to put these in a folder called Steam. And in the meantime, I've used the Dell Data Wipe and wiped my Extreme Performance System 9365 and clean installed Windows. So what I need to do now is install Steam and log in. And without clicking any of the games, we should then close Steam and copy the common folder back to C Program Files x86, Steam and then Steam Apps. After we've done this, what we need to do is launch Steam and then click on the games to install as normal. So let's go ahead and open up Edge and let's download Steam. So let's just click on install Steam. And install Steam now. And we'll save the installer. and we'll select run. And then we'll select next, accept the license agreement, select next, select next, leave the default location for the install, and then select finish. And now Steam will update. And then it will install the updates. Eventually Steam will launch and you can log on to your existing account. Type in your account name and password and then check your email for your code. Input your code and then select next. And then select finish. And now Steam should launch. And if you click on one of the games and select install, then what will happen is Steam will connect to the internet and download all the game installation files. And this will take quite some time depending on how many games you have, as well as the speed of your internet connection. So what we're going to do is actually close down Steam uh, by opening the notification tray, right clicking Steam, icon and then selecting exit.
So what we're going to do now is go to C, Program Files x86, and then we're going to go to Steam, and then Steam Apps. And now we're going to plug in the external hard drive, and we're going to go to the Steam folder, and we can check our instructions just for guidance to check we're in the right folder and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the common folder to steam apps And this might take some time to copy across, but it should be faster than downloading all the game installation files. So that's the folder copied across, and what we can do now is relaunch Steam. And because I already clicked on Skyrim, it's just going to keep on downloading. So instead, I'm just going to click on Fallout and use that as an example. So when I select Install and use the default location, this time it's found the existing files for Fallout. So in essence, all Steam needs to do is update the registry so Fallout is actually installed and in this case it's queued it behind Skyrim because it's taking priority over the first one that was selected so I can go to Fallout 2 and repeat the same procedure and this is once again queued so if I just go to manage downloads what I can actually do here is I can promote the items in the queue and bring them above Skyrim. And as soon as these are promoted, they are effectively installed and they can be played. So I'll just go back to the library and I'll repeat the procedure with Fallout 3. And this time because Skyrim is paused, it will be installed straight away. So I'll just select finish and repeat this for all the games in the library. And this effectively rapidly reinstalls all the games. And as I said in my case, I'll need to wait for Skyrim to finish downloading because I clicked it before copying the common folder over.